Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Hydra Union. Last time we've attempted to make it through the Marduk's Wood quietly. Unfortunately, we've stumbled upon uh, any enemy forces as well as Aegina who ended up kicking our bomb. So now we're actually gonna try to sneak through the forest proper. While I was off screen, I took the opportunity to move the characters where they needed to be. Uh, basically, the dangerous squares on the map were actually this one this one, and this one. These will all re reveal enemies and force us to actually fight them. So by just moving Milanor right on the flag, we're done. Strategy succeeded, reach waypoint C. Alright, we've hit another waypoint. Just a little further. Conditions of victory advance through the woods quietly to waypoint D. Conditions of defeat if Milanor dies or if we use up all our cards. Man, all this sneaking around takes me back. Our next waypoint lies in this direction. Seems like the further we go, the heavier the guard is. So, yep, yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and use Dollcraft. For this particular part, the dangerous squares are actually this one right next to the flag and this one over here right above the village. So yeah, basically don't go there. There's also this one right here, but why would you go there unless you're actually fishing for items? In which case it could be useful. Anyhow, so we'll go ahead and move Milanor way back. Oops. Way back over here. This is a safe spot, so there's no problem there. You'll actually be in position to go to the village when the time is right. So anyhow, so we can actually move Rosary right here from the flag and move Crows over here because why not? Let's end our turn. If you're wondering how I know about all of these things, that I actually have a map next to me that shows me where it is. Otherwise, you'd end up doing a lot of trial and error to figure this out. Because there's not actually anything that really tells you where the enemies are, other than there to, to the north and when you reveal them, reveal them. Like they tell you to stick to the trees, but see, all forests, no way to tell. Anyhow. So let's go ahead and move Rosary to the village. Breeder's Hamlet. Forest folk. This forest hasn't been very peaceful lately. Troops from the Empire or something are wandering about. Forest folk, we just want to live in peace. They drove us from the kingdom, but life here wasn't so bad. That's actually really strange because uh, Yggdra's parent actually uh, controlled the Fantasinian kingdom and apparently they're not in good... Uh, they don't have a good relationship with those people having exiled them. Village by the crags. First the empire was stomping around and now the kingdom? It's a real party around here all of a sudden. Listen up, this forest is a sacred place, tread carefully. A lot of people here hate the kingdom as bad as the empire. So that is done. We can move crews over here. Move. Oh wait, that's not a safe spot. Uh, at least I don't think it is. Hmm. Okay, it's right before the flag, so this one is safe. And we'll move Niach over here. Okay, let's go ahead and use Gravity Chaos. We'll move Cruz back someplace safe. And move him over here. And we can move Rosary ahead, because why not? Bloody Claw. So, let's see. Eh, it doesn't really matter. An itch. This one is safe, the one above isn't. So I can probably move Rosary over here. Let's just go ahead and take Chariot. Perfect! Now let's just move Rosary on the flag. Strategy succeeded, reach waypoint D. Rival, everyone's accounted for. We're very near the exit now, I believe. Yeah, I can almost see the sun. Ha! Huh, do you see it? The exit is there! 
So conditions of victory move through the woods quietly through the exit. Conditions of defeat if any of our units die or if you use up all our cards. One last advance and we'll be out of the forest. About time, let's go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use Dollcraft. Basically here there's nothing really dangerous, unless you go here you're fine. And there's a particular place where we actually want to go. But first I'll ma make a few movements around here. So first thing first I want to move Niach over here. Potato field. Hey, there's something growing here. Yoink. Potato. Oh, it's only a potato. It seems different from a regular one though. Okay, we can have uh, R Rosary and Milanor ahead because we'll actually need them. So Milanor over here, Rosary here. We can keep crews close. Don't care about Russell. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use Gravity Chaos right now. You'll understand why. So first we'll move Niach here. Oh, oh my! Milanor, hmm? Who's there? Huh? How'd they find me? I'm such klutz. How could this happen? Come on, Pamela. Get it together. Oh, Spirits of the forest, shroud my body within your arms. How about that? So we'll go ahead and move Niach in front of her. Wow, lucky me! An undine all for myself! Huh? What? Oh, I thought there was more to it, but apparently there isn't. So anyhow, we'll move Niach a bit. Who are you? Whoops, how did they find me? It's too bad that we don't have any more movement. It's actually fairly dangerous for Niach. I hope it's gonna be enough. So let's go ahead and attack her, even if we don't know her. Ooh, you look strong. You wanna fight? So we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of Grave Chaos, which she's actually weak to. Usually I would actually want to use a steel, but uh, given that my recording failed just before this, well, I actually know that I can steal from her. Oh Angel, deprived of light and wings, I, Mia, the Fallen. Let thy misery cage mine enemy. Slow down. Curse, you meanie! Let's go. I'm almost warmed up. Man, I was worried for a sec. You and me both. Strangely, during the first turn you attack her, she's really powerful, but after that, not so much. It's scary, but I'll do it. Ooh, how exciting! Let's go, Niach. Here I come. Let's go slow. Hmm. Lines here, mute soothsayer. All of fate lies in thy card. Fortune, break out. So what this card does actually is uh, make the fight left to luck. This basically means that uh, your strength is actually swapped with your luck. Given that Niach is alright, she's not too bad in that her department. I'm glad I didn't give up. So yeah, she did alright. Not all that impressive, but enough. A level for Melanor. Well deserved. How do you like that? Ow! What was that for? I got the feeling I spend too much time voicing female characters. <laughs> my body is a leaf, my form is a branch. Jeez, why does this spell have to take so long to cast? I don't know. 
So we can probably go ahead and just use a steel, position ourselves properly, and then just get going. So. We'll move the etch a bit, because I don't want her right there. We'll move Cruz here. Rosary is going to be there. She'll uh, combo with Nietzsche and I'll be the end of that. So let's go ahead and attack her. Ooh, you look strong. You want to fight? Let's go. Not dealing so much damage now, is she? I'm almost warmed up. I've got all the motivation I need. She was pretty strong at the start. That's uh, the card that did like 6,000 of damage. Let's go, Cruz. Forest advantage, too. What? No way! Cruz probably doesn't have a lot of luck. Come on, let's hurry ahead. And that'll be plenty. Stop bullying me! Awesome! Look, I'll give you this. No hard feelings, right? Penalist broom. Huh, my favorite broom. So much work for an Undyne, I don't even want one now. It's never really explained what was the deal with Pamela or why she was looking for an Undyne, but actually, in the PSP version during the second playthrough, Pamela is actually a playable character. So that's interesting. In this one, she's basically walking loot. Depending on how you approach her, for instance, if in Battlefield 23 over here, you actually reveal her, well, you'll get a, a particular item, which is the Dream Cap. Whereas, uh, if you actually do not reveal her like we did, we get the Broom. If you somehow reveal her during uh, Battlefield 23 and do it again, then she'll have the Devil's Tail item. So, yeah. Now we should hurry up a bit, because we're getting a little behind. So, let's do this. Bloody Claw. Can probably just go ahead and move Nietzsche out. Whoopee, I'm here! Made it! It's in our turn. Go with Chariot. Here at last! Gonna be just barely, but we'll make it. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And just like that, we're done. I have arrived safely. March on, made it through Marduk Woods. We've emerged from the forest. Finally! Roll army wins in 20 turn. MVP Milanor with plus one attack. We've got no loot, but we got a new card, which is the Fortune card. Blind Seer, Mute Soothsayer, all of fate lies in thy card. So what does it do? Basically, as I said, it changed luck to power for both sides. The uh, duration is actually fairly long. And it's a basic call, basically. A card, basically. It can be good for some of the characters that we have. For instance, I don't know, Melanor, Nietzsche, Rosary. So this is... Lost Ares, a desolate place known as the Land of Ruin. Why would they drag her all the way to a place like this? Especially if they plan to execute her. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and save up. Okay. And I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, please leave a comment below, 
And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.